Hi and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle today with Undercover, a metal puzzle made and designed by Metal Puzzles UK or to be exact Phil Wakefield. Comes in this box, a wooden box and looks like this. This is the puzzle made entirely out of brass, feels nearly solid so a really heavy thing and it also comes with this instruction saying thank you for purchasing Undercover. The aim is to uncover the inner core from the outer core. The puzzle requires no force. Once disassembled, study the mechanism closely before reassembly so that the puzzle is not trapped forever. Oh, that's an, an interesting detail. And each puzzle is handmade, so you may see some slight machine marks which aren't able to be polished out. I hope you enjoy your purchase as much as I have enjoyed creating it. And this is what we're gonna find out in today's video. So let's have a closer look here on the puzzle. Oh, nice here. A punched in signature by the creator and it really is made out of two sleeves as you can see. One inner sleeve, one outer sleeve and that's it pretty much. And after spoiler break, you're gonna see my first attempt trying to solve it. Okay, here we go. So, two sleeves. Do I have my notebook somewhere around? Yeah, let's just get it. Just to be sure, I'm, I think, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need this for later. But for now, let's start just with the puzzle itself. And let's have a first look. So, what can I see here? I mean, this is twisting pretty well. It's not jamming or anything. Then I try to put it out or push it in. I do not know in which direction I need to push it out. It is blocked. There's also something inside, as you can hear. So there are multiple pins or balls or something in. I think it's, they are pins because you can't hear anything rolling around. Let me, t let me check again how many. Okay, so every 180 degrees, something seems to drop. Let's put it under load and let's see what happens then. Oh, still happens. No change. Okay, it does not happen when I twist the outer sleeve. But when I twist the inner one. Hmm. So how it could look like is the following. It is like, let's say like this, yeah? And it must be exactly centered to get it out. But in this case, if this would be the case, then I should be able to block the pin and I'm obviously not able to do it. Let's try the other side. So in this direction, there's nearly no movement. If I twist it 90 degrees, another 90 degrees. So there are definitely two pins inside. Minimum two. Maybe wiggle a bit. So I will try to put the sleeve in like a centered position, like so. So when I hold it in this position, um, I hear it dropping out and then I hear some slight friction noise and then it drops back in. And this happens every, every um, 180 degrees, so I'm pretty sure there are one or two pins sliding in and out, but still I can see no change here. Hmm, no. The thing is, what confuses me is something's moving inside, but it has zero impact on the puzzle itself. So there cannot be only one pin or two pins. But there must be something in addition. So since I had zero progress up to now and um, I was afraid something might be jammed here inside, I asked someone who solved it already um, if this could be possible. And he said no. It's normal, but um, inspect everything that comes with the puzzle closely. And what I found was this, not sure what this is. I 
just took it out now but it looks like something a tool with two magnets oh and yes there is something magnetic inside oh yes and well not sure what to think about this to be honest um let's see how difficult it is to solve it now with this magnet i have already an idea what this is for now that i know that it's magnetic so i will just check on each line here if there is something magnetic inside there's nothing here there is something oh it's repelling it's even repelling here and attracting so two opposite magnets and here is also nothing so i will focus now on the middle ring and i have already an idea so i think it probably is like a pin that's somehow spring loaded or something and i need to push it in to release it and if this would be the case um yeah let, let, let's see ah maybe the other pin need to be in the in the right direction first i'm not do not remember which was up and down let's try it like this i think they they, they drop in in this direction and now let's get here to this point oh yes and it comes off i think oh it comes off yes it comes off oh it's better you, so you heard how it snapped back in place here's one pin over there no now let's ah here we go here we go and yes here we go oh and there is the pin the one i expected this one here and it is it is spring loaded oh come on and you can only open it up with this tool so the puzzle actually it was a pretty easy puzzle the puzzle was to find this tool and um to be honest i'm not sure what to think about that i will leave this um up to you what do you think about it yeah you can post your feedback in the comments but from my point of view this is not really a puzzle this is rather unfair and however let's put it back together and i think there's not much you can do wrong here i'm still not sure how you how you um can jam this puzzle maybe if you put the spring other way around like this yeah if you put it in like this and now inside it can jam and if you take it out it would break the spring but um i think if you, there's not much you can do wrong yeah there are even two pins here and three notches inside and once you lined all of them puzzles lock back in place and then i need to take the magnet with the repelling side and push in this this pin as you can see right now like so and as soon as i do puzzles back in place solved and that's it for today let me know what you think about this puzzle i'm very interested to know your feedback is it Still a puzzle if you know that uh, tools hidden somewhere in the box and you are not aware of them. Or is this unfair and has nothing to do with a puzzle? I'm looking very much forward to your feedback. So please comment below, subscribe and like if you haven't. And until next time, keep on puzzling!